All right, so today we are going to talk about the class list API. This is an API directly implemented into the browser, so you don't need to do anything as long as you are using some JavaScript with a browser, indeed. So this is pretty handy because it will let us add, remove, toggle, etc., etc., with our classes. Okay, so to access that API, you can just log title.classlist. I will put the source code in the description if you want to follow with me. And so I just select uh, one h1 right there with query selector. And then I just have to say title.classlist. And I can open my console and I will have a DOM token list with the different classes, with the length, etc. And in the prototype, we will see the different handy methods, add, contains, replace, uh, toggle, etc, etc. Okay, great. So now we can start with the first handy method, which is had, for example, title dot class list dot had, sorry, had and salmon. All right. And right now I do had a class salmon, which uh, has a background of salmon right there. All right, it's pretty easy, but if you're a beginner, it will really help you because this is the kind of little API and little methods that are really handy because in JavaScript, we are doing a lot of class toggle, add, remove, toggle, etc. So this is simple. We are just uh, adding one class. Okay, if you go to elements, h1, you see that now we do have a salmon right there. Salmon, salmon. Okay, so there are already uh, three classes plus salmon. All right, now we can try the remove method. So title dot class list dot remove salmon. And guess what? It will just remove it. All right, now it's removed. Okay, pretty easy to do, but pretty handy and useful as I said earlier. Now we also have a toggle. Toggle is also really useful in JavaScript because we are doing a lot of toggles. So for example, when I click on my element, I want to toggle the salmon class. All right, so when I click on it, title dot class list dot toggle salmon. And now I will just comment that. And if I click on it, it will, it will just toggle that, uh, that class. All right, so it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice to do if you want to do some animation, some um, form validation or whatever with the classes. It's, it's very, very useful, okay? All right, after that, we also have the item method, which is not really useful, but I will uh, show you, I will show it to you anyway. So title.classlist.item0, for example, and it will give the first class to us, okay, title, and you see that it's the title, okay? So sometimes it, it can be useful, but I'm not really using it a lot. Contains, contains is really useful. So for example, log, if you want to see if an element contains a certain class. So for example, a title dot class list dot contains and a heading, for example. So right there, it do contains uh, headings. So it will return true, true. All right. So it will just return true. It's very useful uh, if you want also to do some toggle, some validation, some error. Sometimes you want to show an error or something is true or false. And you can see if one element contains or not a specific class. All right. So it just contains and the class that you want to check. All right. And all right. And to finish with that, we can also replace some class, which is also really useful. So title class list replace. And I want to replace heading with one, two, three, four, for example. Okay, one, two, three, four, which is not existing in my uh, CSS, but whatever, it will also work. If you go on the elements panel, you will see that now we do not have an heading at the end, but one, two, three, four, all right? We could also replace heading with salmon, for example. Up, and it will just replace heading like that. All right, so this is pretty easy to understand, but if you're a beginner, I'm sure it will help you a lot so you need to uh, master that, those little methods, which are not are not really hard to master actually. All right, great. I hope I've helped somebody, and see you next time. Bye.